Welcome back to our Grouse 4x4. We've uh, just packed up our first camp for the night. We kept, camped at uh, the Pines camping area in the Wadigans. It's pretty open, a lot of, lot of campgrounds, bins, toilet, which is great. It's close to a few of the tracks too that we're gonna be doing. So we're pretty much packed up, ready to go. We're gonna go do a greens break. We've done it before, we're gonna go do it again. Then we're thinking Creek Road, Cut Rock, Whiteman's Lane. It's Friday, we got Friday, Saturday and we've got to leave Sunday, we've got to be home Sunday afternoon. So hopefully we should get all of these tracks in, which should give a pretty good video for everyone. So hope you enjoy this one and get ready. We're at five ways. So this pretty much marks the start of Greens Break. So Greens Break's just there, Greens Break Road, start heading that way. So we'll give the the hard line a go as long as my tail shaft doesn't look like it's gonna hit. So we'll try and crawl up and down it and see what happens. I've since learned that a lot of people now ride the bank on the driver's side there. Bit of a committing angle. We just decided to jump on the winch. I couldn't get the front up without it leaning into that bank too hard. I didn't want to go smash the driver's door in since it was the first track of the day. So the line we took down the bottom here was a bit sketchy, wasn't fun. You gotta sort of ride that wall. I didn't like the look of it when I looked at it cause it's quite a, a sharp drop. And if you do come off it, it's pretty bad. So I just got it up here, got to the front and then just hooked the winch to the tree. And then we just got two boys in front of us now. They're just um, having a go at doing it. So we let them pass cause we'll do a bit of filming. And um, yeah, we'll enjoy the rest of this track. It's a good little track.
Green Sprague Road is a very interesting track. It has a bit of everything. You got your rock steps, you got your ruts, you got your flexy little sections, and depending on weather conditions can change this track quite substantially. We actually caught up to the two cars that we let past us. This little section here is just giving you a little walk through on what you'll come across on this track. We're nearly at the top of Greensbreak. We're just going through the little wombat washout hole sections. This is pretty much the end of it. It starts becoming washouts and whatnot, little wombat holes. So it's cool little flex videos. But yeah, it's not a super long track. And it's just rocky and sandy really. Traction seems to be the issue with that sand today. Other than that, it's been pretty good. We'll finish the end of this. We'll get a little bit more footage. Then we're going to go have lunch and probably do Creek Road this afternoon. Creek Road and maybe Cut Rock tomorrow, depending on our time. If we've got time, we'll do Cut Rock today. Let's see how we go. So this is the top of Greens Break. You pretty much come back out on the main road. We're now jumping over to Creek Road. We didn't do much research regarding Creek Road, so we didn't actually think there was a lot to it by the looks of the track. Next time we come up, we will do the full length of Creek Road. We only done like the first little section, and jumped off and went over looking for Cut Rock. Five minutes off. This is the main bit that we see everyone do at Creek Road. This is why we thought there was nothing extra. Now looking further into it, we know there's way more.
back up this road here which will hopefully get us back to the main road I'm hoping um, and then head down towards Cut Rock it's 12.40 we've had something to eat on the first day we might do all the tracks in one day so we found ourselves uh, Cut Rock finally <laughs> that was that a mission a couple of hours but we went a long way around now that we know where it is we should be fine it's a little tight we found some friends on the way. This next section of cut rock is like a vertical rock wall. It'd actually be a very difficult climb. I took the beeline around the side and decided to give this tree a bit of a love tap. So we did cut rock. That's a wicked little track that is. Hopefully the footage is pretty good. We were trying to find where Cut Rock was and we ran into two patrols. One was locked, one wasn't. So the locked one done it and the unlocked one didn't. It wasn't bad. It was a good little drive up. Cruiser just crawled it, eats it up. Now we've just shot down the road a little bit and we're doing Whiteman's Lane. So still the same day we've done Greens Break, Creek Road, Cut Rock now doing Whiteman's Lane, all in the same day. It's currently 10 past four, and I think we left camp at about 8.30, 9 o'clock this morning. So, gives you a good indication. Creek Road, the first bit was actually the hardest bit all day at the moment. That was the hardest thing I've come across. Cut Rock is more just commitment and being nice and tight inside that rock line, which is the scariest part, but it actually wasn't that bad. Cruiser fits pretty good because you, you're a narrow little car. It was actually a good day wheeling. We, um, I enjoyed, I enjoyed Cut Rock. Cut Rock was pretty good. It was a pretty good, pretty good, um, little section through there that you drive through. It's pretty cool. You just got to make sure you pick your line. So, don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. I'll get back to everyone that does.